us today to do some garden lighting in like minus one degree. Uh, I think it's minus one. Let me just check on the van. It's, uh, okay, minus three. Yeah, it's a cold one. Um, I'm going to regret it. I know I am, but how yeah. are you guys all doing with the pandemic you know um, obviously it's very limited to what we can do um, mixed messages from different uh, different clients i.e. Uh, letting agents one minute you can't go in next minute yeah you can um, but then I think it just comes down to personal choice really um, I mean you and the the tenants of the residents so I personally, I want to keep my uh, interaction very, very limited with with people at the moment. Um, just, just to give, just to let this all calm down. It's just going crazy in the world. It's crazy. This country is just going mad uh, with this pandemic. It, you know, yesterday I think there was uh, thirteen hundred deaths and sixty-eight thousand cases. I mean, Christ, that's just, it's ridiculous. So. I'm just keeping things to a minimum. Let them roll out this vaccine a bit. Keep safe. Save lives. Protect the NHS. You know all that. Um, I'm trying, trying to keep myself safe and others really. Um, you know, you, you, you've got to. You do what you got to do um, to, to pay your bills at the end of the day. And as most people will. Um, but he's trying to do it in a safe way. So, God lying in minus three. Oh my god, it is cold. Um, well, we'll see. I've got my flask with uh, coffee in it. Um, my brother said he's going to get the bacon sandwiches on. So, all's good. I'll see you on the job. Okay, so I'm basically here. But the, um, the good news is, it's not raining. As you're all probably aware, most people are aware Sparkies don't don't like rain. Um, I don't know why we think we're going to multiply or something. I don't, I don't know, but um, yeah, don't like rain. So as long as the sun's out, don't mind a bit of cold because you can wrap up. So we're here it's still minus two degrees, and um, but the sun's out. So hopefully it will thaw out a little bit. Um, have a coffee in it, and um, yeah, crack on. Okay, so we're here now. I'm at my brother's place, um, doing some garden lighting. He's he's got a work in progress in here. His garden. He built that last year. Um, the pagoda and that, and the decking. Uh, he's got a lot of plans: a barbecue area and uh, doing a bit of more bedding and, and planting over there. So, what we are doing today? Um, he's already pulled the armoured in for me. Um, instead of going off the, the fuse boards in the middle of the house, it's a, it's a relatively new house. Um, fuse boards in the middle, so it's quite difficult to get to. So what we're doing now, he's coming off a socket inside his living room, which is there. Now I've asked him to cut in a few spur, so he's cut the box and all that in. So fuse spur inside, so we're raining it down. He's come out to this socket here. Then we're going to come off this socket so it's all fused down to 16 uh, 13 amps at the moment we come off this socket a bit too far it's run down the back at the moment we're not going to bury it because he's building up around here um we so don't we don't need to bury it he's, he's all being built up with his plans but here um so that's running down down there at the moment um it's going to go to an adaptable box which i'll show you in a second um, so we've got uh, two sets of decking lights here um, and they come with these plugs which the transformers in the plug um, and I'll show you how we got around that in a second so he's just putting the decking lights in for me now I'm, I'm wiring them up um, and leaving the plug in that corner for me so we're gonna have a switching um, remote switching in this so I've actually made something I know you can buy a, like a wires box um, which comes with four it's all pre-wired with four in it but I've actually decided to make my own one up it's a little bit more costs a little bit more but um, 
it's custom because of the decking lights with the plug so we could use the rather than getting another transformer variable transformer we're going to use the plug off of here so we'll cut the low voltage side off um, and then we'll reconnect that inside a box so we can use this plug them back in um, so this is the box that I've sort of pre-made um, we're going to put that down to a 6 amp breaker in here um, the dim rail is all connected so we've got two kinetic twin channel switches so he's got four switches in here and I've cut the plug off a two way adapter and put that into one of the switches so the two lots of decking lights will go on for one of the switches um, and then we're going to do a rod earth spike in the corner over there so we're not taking the earth out of the property and we'll keep it local to the lighting so with the four switches he's got um, uh, he wants to put a water feature a water feature sort of here he doesn't know how he's doing it yet uh, he's going to put a water feature here so we've got an armoured coming here we're just going to fit some whisker boxes some wagos on the end obviously gland it off so it's all, all waterproof and tight um, so that's one switch uh, the decking lights are, is switch number two and then this armoured here which is gonna this is all being changed as well so we're not burying it now he's gonna bury it when he does it because he's gonna he's gonna build up a little bit and do some fancy stuff around here so at the moment it's just gonna be laid across he'll probably bury it under that bit of grass there get it into this bedding and then he'll do it when he's there because he used to be he was a landscaper um he used to do it for a living um, a few years back so he, I'm going to leave that to him to put that in so the armoured's long enough to go to the centre of the bedding um, and then he can do his spike lights and whatever lighting he wants to do he hasn't chosen what he's, what he's doing yet so because this area's not finished but he's having it all wired uh, ready ready for all that and then the fourth switch he's going to come his brother <laughs> Um, full switch is going to come back down back down the side of the garden um, he's looking at building a barbecue area here um, so this is going to be built up a bit so the armour to be covered up so we're going to put um, a whisker box on the end here and he's going to have lighting around around it so it's, it's all done and pre-ready so all he's got to do is put a stuffing gland in the in the box um, and then we're going to already have the Wagos in there so we'll leave freeway Wagos in there so he's got options to put more in um, and that's it so it's all going to be pretty much uh, plug and play once we're finished once we're finished today um, and there's room to add on to the box uh, later date if he wants to add some more cables into the switches so they come on because I was talking about lighting around the pergola here um, he can do that as well so Okay, so I've got most of the I've got all the boxes on the ends of, of the cables, one over there, one there, and one over the barbecue. Um, I'm just working on the main supply box now. <clears throat> I've got um I've got all my earths in, I've done my my banjos, I've decided to put like a an MET inside there. Um it's a bit of an afterthought really. Um but yeah, it's a bit easier to do that and I've got to put these to the rod earth rod that's going in the ground so i'm all landed ready to uh receive all the armoreds so i'm just starting to strip them off now um and let's get them in um some people like to I mean, there's, there's two ways of doing armor glands uh some people gland them complete and then just do the the lock ring up inside or whatever they're doing it all depends on the situation personally I like to put the gland in the box first. Um, I think I can get a bit a better sort of tightness on it. 
and then just strip the armoured strip the armoured there like, and then put it in and do it up it all depends I mean it's his personal preference um, I know I know an Sorry, I, don't I knew an electrician that was t teaching apprentices, apprentices to uh, gland it then put it into the box even though the box is fixed as well put it into the box and then hammer the lock ring with a screwdriver and hammer to tighten it up that's that's not really the way you should do things you know um, the only time I use a hammer and a flat headed screwdriver is to undo a ring a lock ring that you can't get onto with a pair of grips or anything to take something out not a new install to do up it's, it's, it's not obviously not the right way uh, not the right way to to do it um, so personally I like this way better um, it all depends um, I could have done it glanded it first and then put it in the box because the box isn't fixed yet um, because what I've done is I've removed one of his bolts um, so the armors come through and I can fit the box out there and then I'm just gonna screw it to the back down there because obviously the tightness of, of down where I'm working it's a lot easier to do it up here than it is to down there so I'm doing this then I'll screw that bolt on after um, yeah but if this box was fixed to the wall then um, I'd definitely be doing it this way round um, I think that's personally a lot easier uh, it, personal preference is however you work I mean try both ways you'll find which way you you know you, you find better um, I've taught a couple of apprentices this way uh, rather than the other way you know with glanding it and hitting it with a screwdriver um, and they've the, you know, they've all said this way is much much better and easier and obviously it is it's, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a neater job as well um, you're not smashing things with a hammer so yeah right I'm gonna get this finished off get the armors all in um, I think my brother's got the bacon sandwiches going got the bacon yeah he's in the kitchen putting the bacon on top dog um, so gonna get these armors in hopefully before the bacon's done and then we'll get the rod down and then uh, I'll show you probably the programming of the kinetic switches well I'll do the supply in first yet but that shouldn't take too long but, right. service bacon sandwich what I'm rough hi guys apologies to I cut the video short my batteries because it was so cold outside my batteries just completely depleted I had two batteries and I filmed what you've already seen on one of them and the other one I changed it over and it was, it was just, it, it, went, it went about five seconds and then just cut off. So I apologise for that. So um, i cut this video short. Um, I will put up a picture of the finished decking lights because it got dark as well, uh, of them working. Um, it's still a work in progress. My brother hasn't got lights for the, um, the planter area and obviously the barbecue area is still in progress. So and the water feature is going to make so later on in the year i'm sure you'll get, get that i'll post that when it comes up anyway um but i've got the earth rod in i've done all my testing um so it, that's all looks all okay i mean ideal world i would have put a matty device on it rather than doing a rod i mean it's not near the house it's out in the garden so the chances of hitting things are a lot a lot a lot slimmer so um I didn't mind doing it that way for this one obviously cost wise as well keeps keeps cost down a little bit um but that's all fine he's happy he's really happy with the job one issue i had which um i'd had all this i bought all the stuff all the kinetic stuff everything probably around 
August time, about about August I'd ordered it. Um, and it's been sat in my garage for a while. Obviously my brother was quite understanding. I've been so busy with work. Um, so he was he was fine and I just went, I put it all together, uh, made that box up that you see in the garage. Um, so it's a little bit quicker on site. Um, but then when I come to connect the wireless switches, the Kinetic switches to and link them, program them to the receivers. Um, I've, I've used this quite often, but when I ordered it, I didn't realize, I, I ordered two of these, um, which are basically, <laughs> is kinetic inline receiver switch now i didn't even know that these existed um but what these are i got these out and i was like oh this is a bit strange what's this it's supposed to be wireless <laughs> they these ones are i've got terminals like a normal light switch it's got like a common l1 and l2 i'm like i, I, I just didn't even know they made it i thought everything was wireless but They've obviously brought these out to replace existing light switches. So there is there's a, basically there's a receiver built into this, the back of it, that you can buy another kinetic switch to control this. Um, but yeah, if you want to put it in your bedroom, for example, you can put replace your bedroom light switch. You can still use it. There's normal switching, but then you can control it from another switch somewhere else. So I can see where they're going with it. It's quite a, a good idea, um, but it's like I didn't even, it's my fault, I didn't even know that they did this. And these are these are like £39 each. Um, and it's been quite a long time since I bought them, so I don't think I'm going to get my money back, so I might stick them on eBay or something. I mean, they're brand new, so they've never, never been used, but um, it's £80 worth of switches, you know. It's my own, that's my own fault. Um, but... Yeah, so I'm just going to get him uh, some more switches now. Um, I think he wants to go with the MK Logic uh, grid now. I've, I've said that what you could do to make it a bit more of a, um, a bit more of a, a natural look from when it was purposely done from when it was built. Um, you could, if he cuts a, a double box into his plasterboard wall, he's not a dab wall, so just cut the box, fix the box in. When I come back, I'll get all the grid. Uh, the MK grid and we'll just click in the switches and put a front plate and it'll look like it was there from brand new. Um, I think he wants to go with that option anyway rather than stick stick these kind of switches around which he would have been happy with anyway but I suggested it because um, you know you, you try and try and do your best for you know, whether it's your family or, or a customer you try and try and you know make the job look as, as good as possible so um, but I'm going to change the switches um, I'll go down there and just switch them over and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Right, thanks for watching guys. Apologies for the shortness of the video. Um, battery issues. I'm an absolute dunce for getting the wrong switches. Uh, if you've got any questions about this video, uh, please leave them down below. Uh, if not, hit the bell. Uh, it'll let you know when I upload a new video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, hit the thumbs up if you like the video and I will see you in the next one.